Hello everybody, welcome back to more Binding of Isaac Rebirth with me, Flick, and we're on a two streak. Uh, let's go random. I'm going to regret this. No, I'm not. not. Not today, anyway. In general, yes. Oh, it's an XL floor. Alright, well our seed for today is KLVX44AQ. We're obviously playing as Azazel, and we have piercing, even though we kind of already did. But we have a speed up, I guess. Let's try and do a speed run. Kind of. When I say speedrun, I mean by my standards. Why didn't I get... Oh, of course I didn't get hurt in the wind, because I can fly. Idiot. <laughs> just prior to recording this, I was just recording some more Bloodborne New Game Plus. I, I'm having a bit of a problem with New Game Plus. It's obviously a lot harder, for the wrong reasons, but that's to be expected in, you know, souls S games. It's the same Dark Souls 2, it's the same Dark Souls 1, it's the same in Demon Souls. You know, I went in knowing that. But the problem I'm actually happening, uh, having... I got distracted by Dragonakis saying this, this, this for some reason, is that the required bosses for progress thus far, anyway, I've actually not found that difficult. Beat them all under three attempts. The ones I'm struggling with are the optional ones and I think part of the reason is that I know that I don't need to kill them, but the reason I'm going out my way to find them is so that I can show them off since I did it in my blind playthrough. But I feel like I'm playing worse because at the back of my mind I'm always thinking to myself there is literally no reason to do this. I killed it in new games so it's not even going to drop anything for me that I don't already have. Thank you very much. But not only that, uh, another thing I wasn't expecting with New Game Plus is that damage is the issue. And you might be thinking what you're talking about. Of course you take like three quarters of your HP from a single hit. Yeah, I know. That's not what I'm talking about. I am talking about the damage I deal. In Dark Souls 2, Demon Souls, I know there's another item room, but let's just kill the bosses. And whatever else, all the other you know, proper Souls games, me not doing enough damage to the bosses was really that big an issue. And when I say not doing enough damage, I mean significantly so. So I was just attempting a boss, an optional boss there before I got started, and you'll probably eventually be able to sync these up to know which boss I'm talking about. The boss attempt, because I was just not doing enough damage to it, took over 10 minutes. And I won't spoil what the outcome was, but a boss fight, win or lose, shouldn't take that long, I don't think. Does this do anything to my beam? Yeah, okay. Ooh, got a reroll. Take that in with us. Um. That gives us one back. We'll reroll. I was hoping for nine lives. That's a shame. That's fine. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Somehow we ended up with a profit and more damage there, didn't we? Yeah, so, I mean, the whole point of a New Game Plus playthrough, in part, was to show off the stuff I missed in my blind playthrough, because now I know and I've killed all the bosses before. Off camera. But there's always that little voice at the back of my head saying, you know, this you're not going to get anything for this. Why are you subjecting yourself to something that's made artificially difficult in New Game Plus? And I don't know. That's the answer. I don't know. Mind you, I did say I'd show off all the bosses I missed. I didn't say I'd beat them. I just, I really don't want to see what Herbitas is like in New Game Plus. Nope. Well, wait, I don't have a space barium, so why not? Can this teleport me to the I'm Error room? Hey, that's pretty good. Let's try. No, oh, teleport me to an item room. I guess I can go spam happy with the teleport just to see what happens. After me saying that we'd be going fast, we did two floors technically in three and a half minutes. That's okay. Although I've got now like one minute to finish the game in the fastest time it's ever been done or something stupid like that. Hope you are enjoying the New Game Plus playthrough though. People also wanted to see me go back into New Game Plus again in the Scholar of the First Sim playthrough. You've got to understand, I don't like artificial difficulty. It's just a pet peeve of mine. Dark Souls is the exception, kind of, or Dark Souls 2, rather, to be exact. Because we could do it co-op, and it's co-op works. And it's fun! I really, really enjoy the co-op of Dark Souls 2 slash Scholar of the First Sin. Yes. But in Bloodborne, I'm by myself, and I don't have PSN Plus, so I can't do any of the online stuff. And to be honest, I don't want to do any of the online stuff. I think it works better as a kind of horror game single-player experience. New Game Plus and whatnot is just there as a bonus challenge. The only reason I did it in New Game Plus, by the way, rather than just making a new character, is purely because I desperately wanted to use Burial Blade, the scythe. 
Alright, we're at our boss, we'll fight our boss. Oh, come on. So yeah, if I could have used Burial Blade in a new game character, I would have just played a new game character, and I so hope they do something about that. I, it's such a shame that you get such a good weapon right at the end of the game. It's not even that it's OP, it's just a really, really interesting, nice weapon. Alright, HP up, we'll take that. Apparently we'll go into our shop. Was that the Balls of Steel one? I don't think it was. We'll just take that. Oh. Hmm. Charge plug might pay off in the future depending on what space bar we get, so sure. And there. Should probably get into the habit of going into a room with a charge. Yeah, all the, the New Game Plus stuff in those games are generally just there for people wanting a bigger challenge. I don't like them, personally. It's like playing a game on the hardest difficulty. I, I don't see the fun in it. I, I get the bragging rights angle. Like, being able to say, hey, I did this on the hardest difficulty, can you? And a lot of people will say, no. But I don't see it from an enjoyment point of view. I don't like, you know, just giving the game, like, double HP, that kind of stuff. It's not my bag. I don't think I'll have a problem finishing the game, though. But we'll see. <laughs> I suppose I shouldn't speak too soon. One of the bosses that actually you have to kill that I thought was going to slow me down like really, really badly, I actually beat first try, which I was not expecting. <laughs> as far as roadblock bosses, I can only really foresee one more being a big issue. But I guess, again, shouldn't speak too soon. I don't want to do this room, so I won't. I will look over here, though. Hmm, do I want the left hand? Do I want the left hand? Commenters, tell me, please, quick. It'd be so fun to be able to do this on Twitch and then actually get an answer. I was going to say it immediately, but, uh, no. <laughs> but, like, 20 or 30 seconds later, get an answer. At the same time, though, I'm not sure you want your chat controlling your destiny. Although, doesn't that sound quite interesting? Every time you get an item room, you ask the chat to vote on, like, whether you take it or not. That sounds quite fun, although it would slow a run down something fierce. Uh, we'll keep the full card, even though we do technically have a teleport spacebar item. I'm hoping to get rid of it. It's another good thing about Azazel Runs is it lets me talk about other stuff like that. I suppose that does indeed cover it. Oh, yes. So, Charged Plug. I did buy Charged Plug, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Charged Plug Master of Unlocking. Maybe get ourselves a D20 and... Uh, or blank card, actually. Blank card would be better. Blank card Jera, obviously the best. Uh, let's... Nope, can't go in there. If I get a blood bank, I can. I am curious if there's a chance for teleport to actually bung you in the... I'm error room. Uh, one more time and then I'll go back for that. Hey, that's not bad. We'll blow you up. Also, why am I keeping the big map up? I guess because boss rush is definitely possible. Do I need to do it? I can have a look, and if there's no good items... Oh, I can teleport out, of course. I found pills and I ate them. Just like in real life. Two batteries. Oh. Hmm. Alright. That's interesting. We have a reroll on the floor. Haven't seen our item room yet. We can get blank card. Let's fight the boss since we're here anyway. Very easy boss. With a little bodyguard, might I add. Now I'm just thinking about how can we break this run. We've got we've got the start of it. We just need to find the key item. Also the, <laughs> that was terrible. I need to see what's in the shop. Did I break their bullets there? Well, actually, this morning there was another little bit of teasing of information about some new items in the Afterbirth expansion based on user suggestions, as in you know, subreddit users voted on item suggestions they wanted to see. No blank card, which is a great shame. Although, I could use the Perthro rune in here just to try and get blank card. I'm going to do that, because blank card has infinitely more value in the long run. Oh, maybe I should see what's in the item room first, though. 
Let's get the item room first. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, so he showed off two items that were based on player suggestions, and one of them is really, really weird and really interesting as well. So one of them is a tier effect. Ooh, SMB Superman, it's been a while. It's a tier effect where if you get consecutive hits without misses, your damage goes up. So it doesn't need to be in the same enemy as far as I'm aware. Could be wrong. Black Candle is still worth taking, so I'm glad I did that. Oh right, I don't have enough. Eh, that's fine. So I don't I don't want Bob's rotten head. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> we're we're fine. So that was one of them, yeah. That's an interesting one. It makes you pick and choose your shots. If you have a slow tier effect, that actually makes it even better, like Polythemus. That would amplify its power. The other tier you should have, this this is a really unique thing, and I can't wait to see what kind of synergies it has. Also, in brackets, I hope it actually has synergies. It's a tier effect where if you fire off the screen, if your shots miss, in other words, and you know, just go off screen, they come back on on the opposite side. So if I was firing to the left here, they'd be coming in from where I just entered this room from. Also, that's obviously amazing. Which is just really interesting. Could you imagine that with like Brimstone, Mom's Knife? You really would just have Senbon Zakura. You would just be doing that. Or just Brimstone by itself. Would that work? It has infinite range, so I don't see why it wouldn't. So I'm really looking forward to what kind of interesting stuff could happen. Oh, also, there was an announcement that they're going to do some kind of daily run in the same similar vein to like Spelunky, Nuclear Throne. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to rate or score a Rebirth run. Maybe it would be like a, an amalgamation of a lot of different stuff. How far you get. Maybe how many items you get, which character you play as, affects your multiplier. Like if you're playing as Eve, you get more points than if you were playing as a Zazel. I don't know. I don't think they would do it just speedrunning, because that doesn't lend itself well to this type of game, I don't think. At least not in my opinion. I am aware there was like a, a racing league for the original game. I, I don't see the appeal. Some kind of point-based thing, but that would encourage farming, and that is kind of like also a problem. I'm just glad that they found some way to do it. It might not be the way I want them to do it, but it's still a nice thing to do because if I just get bored of just doing random runs, competing with the world in dailies, now that appeals to me. You know, a lot of people criticise the way I play sometimes, even though I do have a 80% win rate. Can that go away, please? So it's a way for people to put their money where their mouth is and prove they're better than me. And I'm, I really like that from a... Mm, sort of adversarial, uh, yes, that'll make us slaughter the flies, right? Or do the pretty flies not count? Pretty flies don't count. Yeah, it's kind of adversarial, but not directly. It's kind of indirect. It's passive aggressive adversarial, and I like that. So, 15 cents for Steam sale when we are on Necropolis 1. Nope. We'll just take a spare heart because and donate one penny and then it breaks. Okay. We want our boss now. I haven't been using teleport at all, but. Ah, well, I will. After I clear this room. I was thinking we were on Necropolis too. Did I pick that up? No, I guess we'll find out because we're going back there. Yes! Ah. Pay out, little man. Pay out. Or you're dead. Fantastic. Obviously didn't need it for the black hearts, but the small damage up is greatly appreciated. Why are you giving me all the good stuff on Azazel when he doesn't need it? <laughs> oh, it's a double boss. Interesting. Take that. Oh. By the way, uh, well, this is actually a bit weird because I'm seeing it on something that's affected by this, but I'm aware that some of my current series are losing a little bit of luster, shall we say. Monster Hunter is still doing fantastic and I'm still thoroughly enjoying playing it. I forgot to go back and pick up my full card on the last floor. So if I'm doing boss rush, I have to do it properly. Damn it! Dragonakis! What was I saying? Oh yeah, the, I noticed that the rebirth runs are in general getting a little bit less views, so maybe people are getting a little bit sick of him. I don't really want to stop them completely because I am I am looking forward to the expansion. I, I want to play it and I want to film myself playing it so it gives me an excuse to play it more. Health down. So that was actually originally a health up, eh? Alright, let's see if we can do something with that. Nope, because it's Krampus. Well, you're better than the teleport, so whatever. 
We're going to use that to get the secret rooms and we're going to take balls of steel with us. That's what we're doing. If I get another teleport card, that's taking presidents. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm not really concentrating on trying to get a run out every day. I'm not even going to really go out of my way to try and make sure I do one every other day. For the little while. For a little while, rather. It means I can focus on recording some other stuff I've got going right now. But if you are still supporting the series and are still enjoying these daily runs, don't support... Uh, don't support. Don't forget to support the series. It lets me know what to do. I go by views, likes, comments. That's what tells me what people want to see. And... You know, when you are an entertainer, you're behooved to do what the public want or do what your viewership wants. We are just gonna go. Actually, we're gonna blow up these skulls, then we're gonna go. Screw you! So yeah, if I want something for Boss Rush, I have to fight for it. That's okay. We can do that. I have never seen this room before. Nope. Oh. There's always a delayed one. Every time. Blah. Blah. That's another balls of steel pill. Fantastic. As far as the rest of the summer goes, incidentally, it's looking a little bit barren, which is a little scary from a content production point of view. Oh, that's a teleport. We're fine. Hermit will do. Monsanto is obviously going to carry on. I imagine it will, at the very least, go till the end of the year. I'm kind of hoping that one of the MMO-type Monsanto gets a Western release, even though it's not as good as the full releases. I know we can't donate anything else, but I'm just doing this in case there's stuff to buy in the final shop. We're not in any danger of dying here. Alright. I am obviously going to be playing Arkham Knight. Massively looking forward to that, but I don't often do like you know I'm not going to do a full playthrough because it's Warner Brothers and they are dodgy with YouTubers, unless you're on their payroll. So at the very best, I would do like challenge map stuff, so there's no cutscenes or story, etc. They're usually, you know, accepting. Accepting is probably not the right word I'm looking for. Dismissive of that kind of thing. They don't go after you for it. At least they haven't in the past. And I like doing the challenge map stuff, actually, in the Arkham games. I think they're very good. Go away forever! Other than that, though, what else is out in the recent... or in the near future, rather? I'm honestly not sure. On the indie front, stuff can just come out of nowhere. I believe Darkest Dungeon is getting a big update soon, so I might take another look at that, but I'd rather it was finished. Um, yeah, let's do this. Strength card. Don't want it. But we do have room for another one now, so that's good. Also, where's my mom boss fight at? I assume we're time for time. Yes, of course we are. Yeah, you come this way. See what happens. Thank you, Prey Flies, for protecting me against the damage my Hubers almost cost me. Yeah, go on the spikes. You little shits. Mom boss fight. No deal with the devil. That is interesting and also annoying. Forget me now. We're taking the forget-me-now. And we're going. And we're going to... Hmm, let me just think about this. When do we use it? When do we use it? We saw our item room. That's our shop. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> what happens when I kill Mom again? Can I take the negative? Also, ice cream van. I am very curious. Also, if we can do this floor in two and a half minutes, I can get another boss rush. I want to go quickly to see if that's possible, even if we don't have a teleport, although we could get a teleport here if I'm very lucky. And let's face it, I'm not, but, you know. Thank you for that. Teleport? Nope. Teleport? Nope.
We have one more shop now. I was hoping for money. That's fine. Two minutes to find the boss. Wow, good pay out. Other than the bomb, I mean. The live bomb. Taking all of that. Faster, faster. I want to see if I can actually get myself two boss rushes. Even if I don't go in, or don't take anything. Oh, of course I get this room. Also, I don't think I've had this room with the hands before. Die. You're immune to the damage? This room sucks. Poke your head up. Poke your head up! Poke your head up! Christ. I so hope they get changed or removed. I would actually be fine with them getting removed. Oh, battery's good if I get another spacebar item. Uh, just leave. Damn it. Hey, thank you. I'm getting all the rooms deliberately designed to slow you down. Gotta go fast. Also, we have a very quick charge, incidentally. Well, I found my last important rooms, if nothing else. Actually, hit me, hit me. Well, that doesn't kill the big farms, damn. Eh, it's, it's, actually it's bad. Hmm, BFF is better. So we'll take that. I'm tempted by the tarot card in case it's a teleport, but now I don't think we're going to be able to kill Mom in time, sadly. Or even get to her. We're not going to find out if I was going to get another boss rush, that's a shame. Oh, we were so close. We still could if I had Krampus' head, but we're not going to kill her fast enough now. Not quite. Damn. Eternal Heart, I don't actually want it. Bollocks. Such a shame. I am still curious whether or not I'm going to get the choice between another negative... Oh, you did just get the choice. So hang on. What happens if this time I take the negative? I'm worried about what will happen, but I want to do it. So now I should have the negative and the Polaroid, right? Took the Polaroid, redid the floor, took the negative. Unless one overwrites the other, in which case the game will end after the Cathedral. I don't mind. We're going to win either way, even if I don't do the chest. I'm just curious if this messes with the game at all. Fate chosen, as it says. Yeah, our charge time, I'm not firing nearly as much as I should be because our charge time is about a half second. Oh, that could be important. <laughs> I'll have to go back for that. Two of clubs doubles our bombs. We'll just take the 20 bombs. I'm not using them anyway. Give me my boss. Oh, Jera? Ow. Oh, I shouldn't have used it there. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought I stood in front of the door and used it. That would have been catastrophic. Well, picking up that tarot card got me hit, so I hope it was worth it. Don't need that. It's a shame we didn't get our hands on blank card plus a Jera, given that we have Master of Unlocking. I'm not entirely sure how that other one died. I don't think I hit it. Mega Maws. Ice Cream Van again. Please move the streets. Alright, if you want to waste your time spawning the hoppers, you go right ahead, buddy. Hope this is the right way. It is. Oh! Ah, uh, okay. We're not going to get to Polaroid Invincibility. Or, oh, maybe we will. It's too little too late for nine lives. It's also too little too late for Go Ahead, so I'm not entirely sure why I just took that. Yeah, there's no need. There's no more deals with the devil. There might only be two more floors if I have indeed screwed up. And the game now only thinks I have the negative. It shouldn't, though. I have both. Mm, 
Any tinted rocks in here? Nope. Starting to be a little bit cautious about my HP. Still want to go fast, though. Bring me it lives, for I am ready. Uh, hmm. Will we bother with going? Oh, we can, actually. Card against humanity, sure. I should have used it in the big room for funsies. Uh, yeah, for this, we could get a bunch of eternal hearts or spirit hearts. Or just all the money ever. That's fine, too. <laughs> Petrified poop plus cards against humanity is just so good. We'd very much like to get money equals power in the chest, assuming we get a chest. All the diglets ever. A joy to behold, I'm sure. You're going to spit out bullets when you die, and I don't like that. Curse room... No. There might be a secret room there, though. Oh, wow. Alright, turns out, curse room, yes. I'll kick myself if there's a free cup item in here, though. Alright, to be expected. That's the only other curse room I've gone in this run, and they've both been spiders, right? Sounds about right. Sounds about what I expect from my luck. I got stuck in that heart there. Thank you, attack flight. Oh, didn't see that. Could you just... Yeah. Yeah, I know it dropped a penny. I'm not going to get money plus power. You know it, I know it. I always look on the bright side and save, but there's a chance. No. Uh, let's go this way. Oh. Okay. That's good. Hang on, we'll swap them some on the magician card. You bastard almost. Oh, you're invincible, yes. Eh, okay. It lives! We found each other. Glorious. I guess I'll give myself a very, very small psychic beam, because why not? Eh. We haven't had any range ups, have we? No, we know we did. It was tied to something, though. These prey flies are doing all the work for me. And then the bloody sundry enemy got me. Alright, this might be the final floor if I've messed up and the game just overwrites itself as far as negative and Polaroid go. We'll get a worse ending that I haven't seen for quite some time, so that's kind of okay. Yeah, you see how these guys act when they go off the screen? That's what the tear effect will do that they're adding in the expansion. So let's hope we find Isaac soon and see what's happening. We'll have a look in here. Red chest? Uh, no. If it was a red chest, I would have done it. Must remember that all gold chests are opened for free. The secret room could once again be next to this curse room. Don't get lucky twice. Who were you firing that at? Monster 2, you and I are going to have words. There will be a lot of asterisks involved. Sun card. Do I use it now to find out which way to go, or do I wait until I desperately need it in case something goes horribly wrong? I'm going to hold on to it in case something goes horribly wrong. I basically got all the dead ends there's likely to be, or most of them just there, so... Yeah. Let's just ignore that dead end. And this dead end. I now have only one path to go, so yeah, I'm glad I didn't use the sun card. I know which way to go. This way. Ten rocks? Nope. Two mega fatties? Three mega fatties? You're all the same to me. This one should be dead. Yeah, I remember. Oops. 
That forgot to hold up because he was doing the drawing. Oh well. Another bus came past the window. Whoops. Oh, actually, I think they're free as well, right? Let me test. Test, rather. No, they're not. Because they're not gold chests. Close. Isaac will be a bit of a pain because we haven't had any kind of range up. Obviously, if I'd taken Mom's knife... Oh, that's right, we did get a good deal with the devil right at the start when I didn't have enough HP to trade fully. We could have had Mom's knife if I was willing to be very risky. In hindsight, I would have got away with it as well, wouldn't I? Oh well. Alrighty, Isaac. How did I not get hit there? Final form, good, good. Didn't even spawn any of those angels. That probably shouldn't have been hitting him. Did you see that? The beam was ending before his forehead. Oh, you bastard. Almost got me. Isaac without getting hit? I think. Right, does the game end? Nope, I do. I have both. I have the Polaroid and the negative. That should just open up the Mega Satan door automatically, in my opinion. So, butt bombs, little haunt. Eh, it's, it's an okay selection, but I don't want them. So we're going to per throw all of them. Eh, okay, we're going to get Holy Mano, which is obviously fantastic. Headless Baby, I could take or leave, but I'm actually going to take it. Able, we're just going to take. We don't have a space bar item, so whatever. And we're going to use the Sun card, so I know which way to go. Oh, very, very linear path, and also a lot of rooms to clear to get to Blue Baby. Oh yeah, we have um, BFF as well, so Abel's twice the size! That makes him twice as useful. In brackets, that is a lie. Oh, it's the worst room. No, sorry, second worst. Double Cage is definitely the worst. Don't you bleh at me. Drop an eye on my dare you. Let's kill Gluttony last. Alright, that's fine. Oh, uh, we have to clear the long room. Three blighted ovums. Kind of scary. Although we don't have a lot of HP. Oh yeah, holy man. Oh, ha! So, the secret room is over there. Yeah, I need a steam cell at this stage. Thank, thanks so much. I'm just going to leave it sitting on the off chance I get like a D6. It could happen. Walk on the, the creep puddle. Thank you. There goes Holy Mano. <laughs> Nearly. It's been a while since I've had Holy Mano. It's a shame that we found it at the end of the run. And that it's not really necessary on this particular run, but... Oh well. Double Mega Maw is not going to be an issue. Blitter yourself. Hey, okay, well, we'll use a Psychic Beam against Blue Baby because we can. You're kind of like the opposite of Isaac. My beam is hitting you a lot and it's not counting. Curve Torn for the damage at this point, given we have 20 keys? Absolutely. Almost got that Mega Fatty in just two bursts. It's two and a tiny bit. Alright. I've got a psychic beam. That doesn't even seem to bend at all because it's too short, but whatever. Having the three pretty flies is just amazing as well. It's blocked so much damage. Sorry, Blue Baby. I think you're going to die without ever even using up Holy Mana. Oh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. I sincerely hope you did. Leave a like if you did, and I shall see you later tonight or tomorrow for more daily gaming stuff with me, Flick. Until then, ta-ta for now.